You know, I've been really lucky as an actor. I think over the years I worked with a lot of great directors and, um, and actors and, uh, you know, I just, and I had really good um, characters that I, that I worked with over the years. I, I really just want to continue that path in a way, you know. The good thing about this job is that you, you know, as you grow older, the characters become different, you know. So there, any age until you will die or people to get tired of your face, you know, you, you, you're, the characters just, you know, develop and evolve, you know, to your current um, state of either, you know, local or lines. That's, uh, if I can just continue as I've done, I'll be happy. Are you, you're looking at me, that kind of, that, uh, it has become such a difficult line just to say. And uh, uh, also the James Bond, Shaking Not Stirred. Um, James Bond was my first, I was in a James Bond in 98, that was my first foreign picture, so that was, uh, it was, it was kind of weird to be there and Piers Brosnan at that point, you know, came up to me in, in, in the scene and he said, Bond, James Bond, you know. Like, I almost cracked up. <laughs> Again, it goes back to, I mean, Robert, Robert De Niro was, because I, when I grew up, I watched his movies and, uh, you know, and, and, uh, but then things over the years, obviously, uh, had also a great impact on, on, on me. Um, I would say my own, as, um, Sean Penn is, is one, also from, from back then. And, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, I think, is doing tremendous work. I watched him and watched Eaton Gilbert Grape. And I wasn't, I didn't believe that was an actor. And I thought, if this is acting, that's, that's top notch. It's a very difficult part to pull off. But there are many, I mean, there's just, a, there are many good actors. It's just, you know, it's just the way they, they uh, portray the character, the way they act, it's, it's hard to just, say specifically what it is, you know, but it, uh, um, it's their presence, it's their, you know, how they twist the lines, like, like mediocre lines or like, you know, factual lines into something dramatic. It's, um, yeah, it, it's, it takes, uh, it takes in, you know, uh, creativity to, to turn things around into something completely interesting all the time. There, 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 are, there are many actors, also actresses, of course. Uh, um. My most memorable, I mean, it's again, you know, you grow up, your first, your first lead in a movie is, is memorable because it's a lead, you know. And um, um, your first foreign picture it has, is, is, although, again, that was that uh, James Bond movie, it was... Uh, um, it was your first, it's a small part, it was an, an insignificant part in a way, but it's your first foreign picture in a James Bond movie and you, all of a sudden you're in this, you know, world of cinema, you know, and uh, this franchise and that was definitely memorable, you know. Uh, but yeah, so over the years, uh, as you grow older, you get different challenges in terms of your character, so... Um, um, yeah, but most memorable, what most most memorable would be the first lead with in Thomas Winterberg's The Greatest Heroes, and my first foreign picture in a, in that James Bond movie, The World Is Not Enough. No. I don't. No. I mean, of course, when you work so concentrated for uh, thirty days, forty days, you know, you go home and you prepare prepare for next day's shooting. Definitely, sort of it. You stay in that certain concentration, you know. But I, I, um, I wouldn't go home and slap my kids if if I played a part where I'm a, I'm a father that slaps kids, you know. Um, so, so no, no, I don't. I, I don't have to, you know, sweep the streets for three years in order to play somebody who sweeps the streets, you know. Then I, but it, it, it's, I usually use my imagination. Acting is, is not, is not, is very logic in a way. It's all made up, do you know what I mean? So there's, there's, uh, t to me, I look at it very much like that, you know, it's, it's preparation. It's like it's putting the paint in order on your palette and then you mix it and then, you know, it's, it's, it's not that, uh, you know, 
you just don't puke all over a canvas and then you see what happens and you jump into a scene and you know freak out or shit yourself or just oh, isn't that great and you know, it's it's a very logical step by step work because it's all it's a thought process that is all put together you know and um, you go from here to there you pick up an apple and that has some sort of significance and it's 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 kind of it's not so difficult as as people think I think, but um, I know there are some actors that get very involved in, in their work, and they, you know, if they if they live in a hut, you know, you know, they need to do that in order to be in the character all the time, and uh, I don't work that way. Sure, I played a few badass characters. I'm playing one right now in uh, this uh, HBO show called Banshee, yeah, and. Uh, but um, they're also interesting characters because, uh, you know, uh, I, they are. Because, <laughs> primarily because they're, not, they're never in the story, so to speak. It's, it's, there's usually a hero, and it's a hero quest, and, and then the bad guy is trying to prevent him you know, from you know, going places. So you can do what you want, you know, where the, where the hero has to be the focal point of the audience and the hero has to be likable and blah, blah, blah. So the characters, the badasses, the bad guys are, you know, fun to play. But I, I always try to find some sort of good side in him. I think the interesting bit with bad, you know, bad guys is if, if, if you can, you know, if you can make them likable in a way, or at least have people understand them, you know, that's interesting. It's, I never just... If somebody is just a bad guy, bad guy, he slices up people just for the fuck of it, I usually turn that down because unless there's a huge paycheck being thrown at me, I could do it. But um, usually that's never the case. So, so uh, if there's some sort of psychology in the guys anyway, I think there's, then they're interesting. You know? The first audition was uh, stupid. It was in Denmark. I can't even remember what it was for. I just remember sitting there saying my name and being asked why I wanted to be an actor. And I thought, oh, damn it. That, and, and then, but then, then I, I quite quickly became sort of familiar face in Denmark. So I didn't have to audition here. People would just call me. But then as I moved to uh, to United States, I did this movie, also Thomas Vinderberg movie called uh, The Celebration, and it kind of opened doors for me uh, in, in America, where they do auditions, you know, more, more often. And um, so I, I found myself again in a situation <laughs> where I'm just not very good at it, you know, because it's, it's not the real thing, you know. I'm talking to this, you know, person who's just reading off of the page and there's no interaction and it's just the bad light shining. I mean, it's just, a, ah. I can't take it seriously. I need it to be the real thing, otherwise I get bored. So um, I rarely, rarely get things offered off of an uh, of audition. It happened a few times. Sometimes the director is there and, and production team is there. So th those are better where you get sort of to play around a little, you know, but, but that's, that's, um, that's rare. I'm, I'm just bad at auditioning.